Yes, boss. Listen, man, you see the topic. A narcissist can never be a genuine person, right? If you never heard of that before, I'm gonna break it down clean and clear so you never have to speculate that before. Uh, speculate that again. Here's the deal. Everybody knows that a narcissist is a person who likes to manipulate and control the narrative, the situation, everything around that aspect, right? So you need to know that a narcissist can never, ever, ever be a genuine person. And I'm going to tell you why, right? Because a narcissist always has some form of a hidden agenda. You need to always remember that. Listen closely. A narcissist can never be a genuine person because they always have a hidden agenda. Here's the deal. If a person has to has the need and urge to want to control something or control other people, it's it's like saying like you ever heard that saying like worry about what it is that you can control? That's not how a narcissist moves. A narcissist feels as if if they can control the situation, control the narrative, control everything, everyone and everything around them, it's like the odds always falls in their favor. So here's the deal, right? A narcissist can want to control a person for any for any little bit of reason, resources, access to uh to certain things like like it, it just goes on a certain scale. It all depends on what that person's agenda is. You get what I'm saying? Once that person's able to fulfill their agenda, then they can move about how it is that they want to. You need to understand that an empath doesn't really have an agenda. The only agenda is that they care about people, but their heart can put them in certain situations that they never expected to be in. That's why they said you can't help everybody. So remember this, a narcissist, can never ever 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 just move through life without just being without having some form of a next move on their mind and when i say an agenda they always have a plan to use someone in a negative aspect so i'm going to give you an example into that right let's say you're a person who has access to like clothes or shoes that everybody wants or everybody likes right a narcissist could try and trick you in different kind of ways to get to the access to get to what it is that you have access to. You get what I'm saying? Whether it may be playing up underneath you, whatever the case may be, the way how they go about this is they have to study you and find out what it is that you're lacking. Once they find out what it is that you're lacking, they can fill that void. You get what I'm saying? So example, let's say you're a female who's broken hearted. Your boyfriend broke up with you, right? and a narcissist wants something from you, they'll try their best to study you and figure out what's your problem so they can fill that void and play on your emotions. You don't believe me? Ask questions. There are different types of people in this world and narcissists are some of the most wicked, most evil, most dangerous people because these are people that are never genuine. They always have a trick up their sleeve or they're always in lack or in need of something. And any which way they can use their tactics to go ahead and get that, they will. And they don't see any problem in what it is that they're doing. Give you another example. You could be a person who has money and a narcissist knows that you have money. Every and any way they can play on you to get in your game room and figure out what your problem is, they'll try their best to either become a solution to that or fill that void. Here's another trick I'm gonna tell you, right? I never said this before. A narcissist goes very far to control a narrative in a situation. That's why I said they can never be a genuine, situa uh, genuine person. Here's the deal. Let's say you're a person who notices certain things always happens. And when certain things always happens, there's somebody right there like to play superhero or coming in, dun, 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 save the day, right? And it's like it's the same person. You have to understand that sometimes these are things that narcissists do as well. Narcissists will stage a situation and play superhero and play like, yo, I'm the person you need to be rocking with or I'm the person you need to hang around because I'll be able to help you out. You get what I'm saying? It's in a it's in a form of way of taking down your walls and making you trust them. A narcissist will do every and anything in the book 
of breaking rules and crossing boundaries just to make sure that they can control a person and get what it is that they want. That's why I said they can never be a genuine person. I'm gonna give you another example into this, right? If a narcissist has the need and urge to control a person, everybody knows that a narcissist is nothing without an empath. So if you have a person who cares or is caring, you're going to want to feed off of that person because it's like you get they get a high off of that energy. They get like a boost, like an extra like 30% in their battery pack when they have an empath, especially a person that cares about them. But you have to understand that a narcissist will never care about you. They have an agenda that needs to be fulfilled. That's why I always say these things, say these things all day long. You have to remember this stuff. A narcissist always has an agenda. Never a net there is never not a day or a time that a narcissist does not have an agenda. They always have an agenda. And the agenda is to trick, control, confuse, and whatever it is that they have to do to get to where they need to go, they're going to do that. A narcissist doesn't stop at any form of a limit. They don't have any boundaries. All they see is the end goal in sight of where it is that they're trying to be. And if you're a person that they can use to help them get there, they're going to be willing to use you. Whether it may be trying to apply fear to you, whatever the case may be, they'll try their best to study you and figure out your weaknesses and use it against you. You get what I'm saying? That's one other aspect, right? I'll give you another one, right? A narcissist, put it like this. Whenever a person has the need or feel to control control the narrative at all times, it's because they don't have any control over their own life. It's like I stated in previous videos if you watch me, right? A narcissist likes to control the situation because it's just like playing Grand Theft Auto. When you're playing Grand Theft Auto, you got a controller and you're controlling the character in a video game. So a narcissist will go hard to control a narrative so that a person can give up their power, like relinquish their title, to let them get the driver's seat. Like, you're, you could be the one who drives the boat now. No, that's not how this goes. And any given way that they can go about it, they're going to do it. I stated this multiple of times. I've dealt with all type of narcissists. One of the worst ones I ever dealt with besides my mom was the rapper. You get what I'm saying? I know you don't have family up here like that. You don't have friends like that. Your mom don't rock with you, all of that. You're the perfect target, you're the perfect lick. Because why? I can stack odds against you and chances are you're going to fold. So that means if I threaten your life that I'm gonna kill you, that means by default if you really do love your life and I think you're pussy like how I think you are, you're going to conform to me and what it is that I say and you're gonna do what it is that I do, what I need you to do, because you know the power that I have and what I can have done to you. This is all of the stuff that I learned from one person, well, a great majority of one person. You get what I'm saying? You have to understand that narcissists live in a world where if they can apply fear and and extract fear into a person, well, insert fear into a person to where they do what it is that they need them to do or just bow down to them, that's another thing. Here's another thing for you where you need to understand, right? When a person is a narcissist and they see that they're nothing like you, sometimes they'll do whatever it is that they want that they need to to make you like bow down to them like forfeit like force them you get what i'm saying by force do what it is that i need you to do or you're gonna feel my wrath because you know what i'm gonna do to you you get what i'm saying like like a person is your parent or something you get what i'm saying these are people who are not only broken but they're sick up top in the head because they feel like the best way that they can have their way is by controlling others. Rather than trying to control themselves, they feel they do better when trying to control others. These are things you have to understand. There's different types of narcissists. Covert narcissists, those are some of the worst type of people. They hide behind closed doors with their narcissism. So you need to understand and remember these things. A narcissist can never be a genuine person. It's just like when people say, oh, the devil, the devil lives in hell or the devil is straight from hell. The devil doesn't necessarily have to be a person with red skin and horns, bro. A person can behave like the devil. A devil is basically like a narcissist. You get what I'm saying? 
A narcissist seeks to control, manipulate, trick, confuse. Same thing like the devil. There's no difference, bro. If you take certain words and you split it and you research it and you try to understand it, you'll get the answer as to what it is that you're looking for. Never, ever, ever a day in your life feel like just because a person has shown you narcissistic traits that they won't go about trying to step down on you or trying to force you into doing what it is that they want or trying to manipulate you. Because a narcissist knows that an empath is driven by their emotions. I'm going to say that again. A narcissist knows that an empath is driven by their emotions. So what they like to do is roller coaster, roller coaster your emotions so it's like you're not settled, you're not balanced, you're not grounded. You're here, you're here, you're here, you're everywhere. So they can trick, confuse, control you and then when it's time for them to strike, they strike on you like how it is that they want to. You just have to be a person that's firm and understand your power. I'm going to say this one more time because there's a lot of a, a lot of empaths who listen to me. I'm not going to call no names. You know who you are, bro. I need you to understand this, dog. If you see that a person does not care about you, they're not trying to help you. They don't care about your state of being, your mental state, your health, your well-being. You need to get away from them people. I don't know what it is about empaths, but I'm going to teach you this if I've never said this to you before, bro. You caring about a person doesn't mean that you're going to waste your time and care on them till they care about you. That shit does not exist. It doesn't. They know that you're a loyal person. They know that you're a good person. They're just hoping that you don't see your value and you waste all of your time and your good years on them. Repeat that part again if you don't want me to say it again, bro. You have to understand these things, dog. Because the more you get older, I'm going to say this again. When you get older, you're not going to move the same way you were when you were younger. You got to move accordingly. If a person is showing you they do not care about you and all they seek to do is control you or manipulate you, get away from them. Some people, they want you to burn out your time with them until you become drained and you're worth nothing. You don't have nothing left, dog. There are some people who linger around some people for years and years and years and burn out their time and they don't get nothing back in return, dog. Thank God for me being around my mom and certain people who are narcissists. I learned the biggest thing I need to learn, which is street knowledge. I never learned street knowledge until I got around those people. And then it all made sense. And it's like, I'll, I'll never say I regret what I went through. I'm just glad I'm, it's over with in a way because it's like, that's a lot of pain, dog. That's a lot of pain. And it's something like I never deserve. I can honestly say I never deserve that stuff, bro. You learn certain things in life, but at the end of the day, these are the things I'm trying to help you with so you can be saved. You cannot believe that a person is, oh, I'm going to change or I'm going to do better or I really want what's best for you. If a person really wants what's best for you and they don't have evidence of proving what's best for them in their own life, they can't want what's best for you, bro. They're going to want what's best for themselves. So I'm going to break that down, that down again. If a person acts like they're so caring and, oh, I want the best for you and, oh, this, that, and the third, but they don't have anything to show and prove in their life of what they have to prove, uh, what they have to show and prove, what do you have for yourself? Why do you care about me so much? Care about your own self. Those are people who are low-key narcissists. They want you to use all your care and concern on them, and they're not going to give you anything back in return. That's why I said that a narcissist is never a genuine person. They always have an agenda up their sleeve. They don't care about you, bro. They just care about what it is that they can get up off of you. You get what I'm saying? So with that being said, remember this. Words can help you. They can hurt you. But here on my channel, I use them to uplift you because everybody's a champion. Nobody's a loser, man. It's 444 The World. Peace.